Hello, welcome to today's episode. I am going to cover the basic and essential history of NAM. We're going to talk about our history as well as the company, and we're going to be a little opinionated about what we think about NAM, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But let's start off with the basics. So NAM was founded in 1901 with 52 members as the National Piano Manufacturers Association of America. That is the NPMAA, uh, New York City. In 1919, they changed to the National Association of Musical Merchants. Now, this is when they moved to California. Much better climate. Um, Someone from the Midwest like myself did enjoy that about NAM. Uh, 1970, that's kind of when that happened, and they have stayed there for the most part. So NAM celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2001. Uh, I'd just gotten out of high school, didn't have a lot of plans for my life. And in 2015, they hit 10,000 members. And now here in 2020, we have had the COVID-19 pandemic. NAM canceled its live in-person vibe. And they now have an online thing going literally today. NAM technically started virtually on Thursday. I think it's called Believe in Music. And uh, yeah, it's virtual, uh, like a lot of things during this pandemic. So... At the present time, they say they're going to open up their doors and do in-person NAM this summer. With that being said, uh, I have Nick and Addison here as usual on live. Let's talk about, Nick, start with you. Where does NAM, where is NAM going in this internet age, pandemic age? Wow, that's a heavy loaded question. Well, I, th- I think before we jump into that i think we should establish our perspective and i i think that'll help um put things into context so nam the function of nam has well first of all addison what is your perspective of nam because you're an outsider i am an you, outsider. you've never been to nam nope you, i want to go seen people yes, go to nam absolutely describe to me what you think nam is to me nam is a place where companies release cool new gear and you can go if you get invited or get a ticket or perhaps you can purchase a ticket. See, I don't even know all the functions of how it works, but so uh, innocent. you can go. <laughs> so I know I'm wrong, uh, but you can go and see all the cool new gear uh, that companies are releasing. That's like the time that they, they release cool new products. Right. It's like... Or bad new products. It's like depends. Comic-Con it's, right, exactly. for gear. That's a good... Yeah, exactly. The thing is, for people who are exhibiting, it's not at all that. Got it. The function of NAM for exhibitors has always been, or at least from my perception, yep. has been, let's connect with international dealers. It's like this one time a year. Everybody's in the same place. We can connect with new dealers, uh, new stores, talk about new products. Yes, definitely the new products... Um, is a big part of that because dealers are there. Right. But as NAM has evolved, it has started to take become become Comic Con for Hmm. gear, which is not Gear Con. So but like which would be cool if that is what the purpose was. The problem is is when you're trying to have conversations, meaningful dealings with Hmm. um people about your company yeah. and you just hear Let's like this. Let's set up this. a scenario. Yeah, so, um, so I'm, I'm coming to Josh. I'm JHS. Okay. Yeah. And I need to talk to you. You're my yeah. biggest Japanese distributor. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. second musical, the second biggest market for me in the world. Yeah. And we need to talk some deals and do business because NAM was created okay. for that interaction. Right, right, right. Uh, so let's start uh, here. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, the new product I have yeah. uh, is... So, yeah, we're in this process. So, yeah. So, but I don't understand exactly how does it work. How are they doing? I don't know. How much is the price? The price of that pedal is. uh... So, So how do you feel as my Japanese distributor? Well, uh, I feel like that was a completely pointless interaction because I couldn't actually hear anything you were saying, and because of the normal language barrier yeah that yeah weird. so we would have to work through anyway yeah adding somebody bashing on symbols and testing the yeah. timbre so of a, a step hi-hat. further <laughs> how do i feel as a gear manufacturer i have spent 
$50,000 with a booth, travel expenses, everything to meet with my dis distribution for business because yeah. NAM should be closed to the public and be a business event to do business as it always was. Yeah. If you look back on episodes like Who is Dan Electro? Right. You hear that amazing story of Steve in 1997 selling tens of thousands of guitars off the show floor. It was much more focused right. than the internet comes along. Right. And everything starts changing for NAM. And yeah. now I'm at NAM trying to sell things as a business and I can't do it. Yes. And you guys that's said that's what it's become. Technically, you can't sell anything at NAM. I mean, like you, no. you, you strike deals, orders, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because yes. but to individuals, they can't. And this buy is stuff. no slam against you. Yeah. Your romantic version of NAM yep. is you go there and hang out and yep. there's sweet deals and you buy the new walrus pedal that came out today. Exactly. You don't. It's oh. probably not even working. Because Nam means not available, maybe mm. May. Has Jay just had any of those? That oh, were all the time. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've just shown thing. things yeah. that aren't even done. Yeah. And that's lots the of plague in the room. of <laughs> Nam. It forces you into a mold. Yeah. But all that said, there's some really good things about Nam. Yeah. What are something you love about Nam? Well, it's a couple things I love about Nam. I, it is really fun. The, the, when you go in the perspective of ne Gear Comic Con. Yep. That's cool. Right. It is. Right? But because it's fun. You get to see your friends from all over the world. You get to meet new people. You get to meet people that watch the show. You get to go to a warmer climate in the middle, in the dead of winter. That's fantastic. I mean, uh, whoa. A lot of really cool things have come from Nam. Uh, I mean, the I don't think the JB2 would have happened. Yeah, so if many great connections. Met. Yeah. So yeah. many crazy connections. So, so yeah. And, that, and my takeaway is like, so many great memories, so many great releases. And I think when we started in 2014, we'll get to that and we'll move off this little interest of, about how this feels, but there's a lot of good. Um, there is. And Addison, we'll go. We'll I would go. love we to go We might go to the show That'd be and fun. go around and Heck yeah. do some, some content. First giveaway. Let's do that giveaway, Ooh, Addison. Let's go. All right. We got four giveaways today. One, two, three, four. Um, the first one is for... A lovely whitey tidy, and the reason that we chose uh, the three pedals we're going to give away, and then we're going to give away some strings too, uh, is because all these pedals were released at NAM. All three pedals. So we have a whitey tidy first up. Um, here's how it's going to go. First one to answer the question correctly in the comments that we see. Joshua is over here to my left. He's going to moderate the heck out of this chat and make sure that the first person we see is the winner. He's going to tell me that winner. Um, but our question here, which I believe we talked about this already. I don't know. If we didn't, then Google's your friend. Hopefully you type fast. Uh, the question is, how many members originally founded NAM? Go in the comments. How many yep. members originally founded NAM? So first one to answer on our server uh, wins that. Let's go down to the mono pedal board cam. Uh, Bernie has joined us today. Um, Katrina made a beautiful mask for him so he could be safe because I'm within six feet of him. Uh, we're going to do the Bonsai. This was a super fun release. Um, Nick, I remember this moment oh, yeah. here. You trimmed a thousand Bonsai trees. A thousand. One thousand. What happened to those trees? Uh, well, no, they died. Did that bother anyone particularly who worked it at It did. It did bother one particular person who may or may not be in the room right now. Uh, Your form is really good. It, 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 you know, people gave me a lot of crap about that. Oh. I'm sorry. It's uh, it's hard to talk yeah, to yeah. Man, this What about when you built these pedals? Thousands of the first ones ever made. Um, I yeah, I built 1,000 of them all by myself, no help at all. Just really tapped into my inner. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Calm. Yeah. I just want to say yeah, yeah. this was yeah. a fun yeah. release. 2018. Let's go to that pedal board cam. Uh, let's do let's do like zen blues okay let's i don't go. know what that is i don't i'm gonna just start with the bonsai in the ts10 mode and we're just gonna explore what zen blues could be and then we're gonna announce that perfect winner. um sounds great it would sound even better if you muted your mic
I'm a real big fan. Hey, what's the dealer cost? What's the dealer cost? What are you doing later? You want to go on a JHS pedal? What are you doing? Can I place an order? How much is a dealer cost? Hey, I have a really good idea for a new pedal. How much is a dealer cost on a JHS pedal? Three, two, one. Man, that's amazing. We have a lucky winner, you guys. I, first of all, oh, okay, this let's, is more important. let's recognize the Zin in the room. Do we feel Zin after that? Who's that winner? All right. We got a winner. Uh, our winner for the Whitey Tidy is Spencer Hossman. Hassman? Depends on how you say that. Spencer. Yep. Congratulations. Uh, send me an email, vlog at jhspedals.com. That's V-L-O-G at J-H-S-P-E-D-A-L-S dot com. That's impressive. If you're not Spencer, here's what you don't do. Nick, yes. what do you not do? Don't email if you didn't win. Because if you do, you're dead to us. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Be All cool. Right. The correct answer was 52 founding members, by the way. 52. All right. Congratulations, Spencer. Let's talk some more history. Yeah, I yeah. I think, uh, let's talk historically cool stuff. Do you want to hear something really historically cool? Yes. What is it? Like really historically Drop the cool? bomb. Thomas freaking Edison went to <gasps> Nam. That's right. Come on. I'm not you're even pulling, I'm you're not pulling even a quick joking. one. He went in 1918 and 1919 and one of those years he exhibited. Do you think he possibly went to Hall E where the guitar pedal section was and said, "I have this idea called the bulb." In 1919? They had a in guitar the pedal, section. Guitar pedal section. Yeah. If you're watching all... <laughs> this, which you are, I made a funny and no one got it. That's crazy. I didn't know. No, that. Isn't that nuts? What else do what uh, else do we know here? Tons of facts. Lots of facts. They, at at the point of the start of NAM, so nineteen oh two, the yeah. piano association, there were more pianos in American homes than bathtubs. This is true. That's so weird. Let's talk about our feelings about that. My first feeling is that means America did not smell good, but it <laughs> sounded great. Yeah. Or, or. It, it also sounded bad because everyone Pianos. was learning how to play piano at the same time. Yeah, because maybe you go to Nam and yeah. people are learning. And learning. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, what, can I have the newest version of your piano? Hi, I'm Thomas Everything. All right. I have a cool fact. Yeah, what's your fact? Um, we talk about cloning pedals all the time, Love or it. even guitars Love for that matter. Uh, yeah. Nam was originally started because there were people that were cloning pianos and selling them as like higher end stuff wow. than it really was. And so, was it to bring clarity to real products? I believe that was the case. So yeah. now yeah. what's changed is they just like have an entire <laughs> hall for that. They allow they really you. They're like, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. accepted. That's funny. All right. And that's it, not a slam. No. no. It's not a slam. I love rummaging around down there. Yeah. Strymons. We were down there I've one seen... year. Not everything. There's yeah. some root, like callings. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But there's a general sentiment about the downstairs. Right. I've seen some why. I've seen <laughs> the entire cast of Lord of the Rings etched into a guitar. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds oh, horrible. Yeah. That's, it's, that's totally it's normal. It's crazy. All right. Man. Some history yeah. slides. Let's, let's take a walk down history lane, mm. starting with these men. Look at those guys. I want to draw attention to this guy on the left. His hands in his pocket. Jacket's not even together. He's wearing like a mini tie, possibly a tie stuck into his shirt. He's free. Yeah. He is free. What year is this? Do we even know? It's when there was no color. When did color enter Earth? This was this like was in early the 1900s. Oh, this is yeah. the this is 1920s. Uh, these are this is the National Piano Travelers Association, aka the NPTA. So these are ballers. this is their meeting at the NAM show. So these guys are these guys are the godfathers of piano selling, I guess. So, yeah. There's that. I, I I think it's interesting to look at that picture. Here we go. The National Association of Piano Dealers, Atlantic City. Uh, they grew. Hotel Rudolph. That's in 1904. Oh, so they... Yeah. Do you think they shot that on, like, a cannon? Like yeah. A, um, <laughs> 2405? Like a that was when people D. used actual cannons. I, th I think the... <laughs> I think the F... They're at the F40 on this. Yeah. That's... um. The oldest known photo of Nam. And humanity. And maybe humanity. Look at this one. 
That one's this, from 1985. And, and here's what I'm going to say. Every church in America's youth group had that carpet till yeah. what year? Maybe even like last year. Yeah. Renovations look at that. Occurred. The font is baller. It's really cool. I like that. I mean, we should that. put that on a pedal, that yeah. font. Ooh, what that, do we got here? That is the first ever floor layout of uh, of a NAM show, which is hilarious because NAM is like 10 times the size of that now, maybe Nick, even more. would you like to attend the NAM show with me and appear on the promenade floor? Yes, good sir, but first let me polish my monocle. I need to go to Roth and Eaglestein's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Horner. I love his products. It's fantastic. We're actually available for voice yeah. acting. Uh, email voice acting at, at jhs. Jhs. Yeah. Show. Show. Oh, sorry. I like this. I'm going to read this, and I want people to really focus on the message. This is the first ever slogan of NAM. Member of National Association of Music Merchants, the poorest child is rich with musical training. Wow. So this is when they, they became, I mean, roughly this era is when they became this NAM. Is yeah, when, it, this is when... They're growing, and they needed a slogan, so they handed this out. Yep. Just so people would know, the poorest child is rich when they have music. Yep. Now, 80s. Yep. It starts to look like what we know. And yep. that girl, see the girl on the bottom? I mean, she's straight out of like a, you know, a Heim video at yeah. this point. Like, fashions come back around. Big There's deal. That, that carpet again. Big deal for the 80s. 1984. MIDI was released. Oh. oh. So they're releasing MIDI and yeah. talking about it. They yeah, they're like, hey. What's this? What's this? Uh, what's this MIDI thing that you have? A MIDI. It's a 16 How does it work? It tells us how it's played. It's a That doesn't make any sense. Program changes to other things with. Yeah. That's that's good. That's a big year for Nan. That is a big year. Very big. Oh, you remember Linda? Uh, you know, we were there 1957. That's she right. She was playing the Honer Harmonetta exhibit. That's right, Linda. Linda, Brooks. let me tell. Linda was a sweetheart. Do we have one of those, by the way? We should uh, get one. I I want one. If you have one, yeah. Uh, okay. The is first summer nam. Is this the first summer nam? Well, this is the first nam in Nashville yeah. that ever oh, occurred okay. in. Nashville. Oh, it was in Austin. That's what yeah, I meant. Correct. Uh, so, problem. That's not a guitar. No, it's a. It looks. It's guitar esque. It, yeah, it's guitar esque. It looks loot. It, I don't know what a loot actually is. And it this, looks, I used to goot. collect basketball cards. Yeah, and this <laughs> font, this is like yeah. dead basketball <laughs> right. card. From action. what year? Ninety three. Ooh, that was I was one years old. Look at this. Wow, me too. Nam midway of ideas. That's crazy. I love the striped suits. That's a real good look. We could do that. We you could and I. do that. We yeah. Could. This gives me anxiety it does because a this bit, is still yeah. a thing. If you've been to the NAM show, you've stood in this line, and whether it's black yep. and white or color, it haunts you. Yeah. How long does it take to get into NAM every day? If you're a normal person, yeah. just oh. bring a snack. If you're us, okay. you, have, you have a private entry, but okay. then yeah. here's the thing. If a badge is messed up in the system, uh -oh, you're yeah. screwed. Like, There's I've no had way. it take hours. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's jump over to the seventies. Um, this is a really so I was digging up these photos, and this this these were great because it made me realize that Nam has in some ways stayed the same, and this booth is exactly uh, reminiscent of that. Uh, people having uh, goofy things in their booths, themes. Yeah, um, we did a Lego booth. We did a Lego booth one year. Are those speaker cones on the feet? I believe those are speaker cones on the feet. And I think I that's a that. dryer vent. That's brilliant for legs and arms. Yeah, wow. it's fantastic. But this is still something that happens at Nam. There's harmony, uh, which now you know mono has taken that whole thing. Yep. It's awesome. Um, Echo, amazing guitar brand from Japan. So cool. The Loduka Brothers. Is that I don't you, know how they would that? say it, but I feel like they would say the Loduka Brothers. Okay. <laughs> This is this is CBS era Fender, which is interesting. CBS Broadcasting buys Fender from Leo because Leonard, Leonard, Leonard Skinner Leo thinks he's dying and he's burnt out, so he sells it to CBS for more than they had just bought the Yankees. Wow! And it's like I think it's a trillion dollars. It's thir thirteen million back Same in the day, thing. I think. It's Fender, Rhodes, Rogers. Yeah, it's just cool to see. And then there's this stuff. Bands playing. This is an early iteration of what's called um, what do they call it, Nick? 
Well, these ladies look like they're just in a band, but I know what you're talking about, and you're talking about people who get booth babes. Yeah, they try to rent them to vendors. They're, yeah, there's an agent and like an actress They've come to our agency booth and said, thing. That's real? Do you want it's a few real. booth babes to draw in some yeah. dudes wearing leather? I don't That's understand horrible. why this is still a thing. It's it's I I will say in b- between the first name that we went to yeah, and the yeah. last one, it's gone down. It quite chilled a bit. out. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. it helped when when Guitar World took the whole scandally clad woman yeah, cover that issue. Kind of became thank like God. out of fashion, which was she good. shreds has helped with yes. this stuff a lot too. This nice. photo, beautiful framing, Lovely. beautiful color, nothing like Nam. No, they created a fake environment inside of Nam that Nam could never be. No, there's so much like peace and tranquility. Okay, here's a moment. I just uh, I don't want to brag, but you but see the amps to. there. Um, I have one in the room here, and I was excited to see this. That's the that seems like a brag. Dirt Road Special, like wow. for harmonic amp. It's from the seven. It's pretty hard to find. Fantastic. I have one. Um, it's it's You're not a huge bragging. deal. It's it's not a big deal at all. It's a brag. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. All right, uh, we have another giveaway. Yeah, we do. Addison? Let's go. All right. Next giveaway here. This one's exciting. Uh, It's exciting because I'm playing it right now, and I actually really like it. It's an Emperor V1, and it has the box. It has the box. It has the box. box. Look at that. So does the Whitey Tidy, but I remember to say that I have the box on this one. So Uh, It's down here. I can't show it to you, but I promise it's real. Um, So here's your question. Again, first one in the chat, and then we'll do a jam. So. Get your get your typing fingers ready. Here it goes. Who was the last JHS artist to perform in the JHS NAM booth? That would have been 2019. Who was it? He's a JHS artist. Oh, I gave a hint. It's Could a possibly be the last ever. NAM Quite performance. possibly. Yeah. Let's go down to the mono pedal board cam, and uh, I'm gonna Emperor here, which came out in 2014. Nashville NAM. I remember this because I ate a spicy chicken sandwich, which was. They dipped chicken in hot buffalo sauce and threw it on bread, and I ax- I like burned my face off, and I sweat for an hour and a half. Yes. <laughs> uh, I remember that. I'm gonna use the clover nice. to to change the overall sound of my amp. So I'm gonna drive it a little, maybe. Ooh. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, you know that song that Jeff Buckley wrote, Hallelujah. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, here you we just go. Just like pissed Ready? off 20,000 20, people. Luscious chorus to a sickly vibrato. Um, it was wonderful. So good. And it was. Uh, Jeremiah McCann, you're about to enjoy Luscious to Sickness. So All right, Jeremiah. congratulations. You McCann. Vlog Whoa. at jhspedals.com. Yep. Send us an email. Now hear this. No. 
something never before attempted on television. We release something new. products lost our minds. Had something new. Brand new. Oh yeah, I remember when I made this video and I almost lost now, my mind. Now here's something Who were that you really made. I was, uh, I was young, color, I had design, dreams, and great weight weight control, then after this, great weight 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 control, control, have seven ways to discover the wonderful world like of musical performance. Really I did, and I actually good. really liked this video a lot. I was in a band called Soul Trust. I just look at all the other ones. But yeah, this year, uh, we released, uh, it's even better to hear. I love this video. Where'd you get the TV? Uh, I bought the TV on Craigslist from. Uh, uh, I've always liked good things. And you can't Can people uh, still go see these videos? Yeah, you can. Okay. Can go see them. They're on, on, our, our, YouTube our, channel. on our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that you were doing really cool stuff when nobody cared about what you were doing. Thanks, thanks, thanks. You know, um, it's because of the love of the craft. Yeah, there's so many great things that you were doing, and, uh, you know, they got like 118 views. Yeah. Well, you know, so you do the best you can. You live, you learn. You live, you learn. That was one of my favorite poets. Yeah, the 90s. and my other favorite pant poet was, uh, they said, um, uh, you try the best you can, and the best you can is good enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Let's let's uh, let's play another video. Shred Mageddon's. You remember those? Oh, I remember Shred Mageddon's. Okay. This was basically the Shred Mageddon went into making this. So as they I, I developed a very, very ridiculous point system to accurately Give me a different key. judge the combo He's meter a and the health bar. All right, D-Lydian. When I say very uh, complicated, I mean it's I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. This still looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a second one coming next year as well. Ooh, you stepped up this yeah, intro. Yeah, we we stepped up the intro, because I thought like. <laughs> Security on standby and an ambulance. All right. I need each contestant to bash the other one verbally. Yes. Yeah, so with like a yeah. they face down. off in a heated All right, Laurie battle. Uh, it's Let's really good. Out. Go watch it on YouTube. Who I, I also love. want to show. You remember when everyone had GoPros? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is 2014, and we wore that one GoPro out. Oh yeah, we sure this did. This is our booth. This is our first booth. Yeah. There's the. Um, you can see the pedal curtain. My wife made that. That was brilliant, by the way. It's pretty cool. She did. Way to Your go, Your wife Amy. is very talented, that. very crafty. Super cool. Yeah. The barn wall. The barn wall. Let's do another giveaway. Ready for that? Oh, man. All right. Am I ever? Hey, Ernie Ball, thank you for being a sponsor and for giving away strings to people. Yeah. That's really cool. All right. Here's our next trivia question. Here's what you're going to win. Uh, a box of your choice of any Ernie Ball string. Acoustic strings, bass strings. You can get the paradigms. You can get the normals. Whatever you want. You just got to email us at blog at jhspedals.com if you're the winner. So here is your trivia question. Michael Jackson's Thriller is the number one record of all time. What iconic Ernie Ball artist wrote the song that ranks number two? Wow. This dang. Is, this is a saucy one. Dang, dang, saucy. dang. Let's do a jam. Um, let's go down to that pedal board cam. Let's uh, let's do Angry Charlie. We put this out in 2016. The Cub is a is a NAM release as well. This version, so that was 2013. I think we need to try to summon what 
guitar players do at Nam. Like okay. the like the general vibe. Just like really over the top, overpowering. Mega uh, shred. Yes. So I think maybe like a great driving rhythm thing. And okay. I'm gonna come right in and just shred and I don't even know how, but that's name. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna go key of E. You like that? Let's do it. Love key it. of E right. it is. Okay. Mic's off. Mic's off. Okay. <laughs> pretty great i slide oh, into 2021 I with your new bernie slide his mask came off Uh-oh. oh my god <laughs> guys we have a winner uh that was a, uh, picked during that madness your name is adam luden morris i'm sorry i'm bad at pronouncing names so if i pronounced your name wrong i apologize but adam morris uh luden morris you're our winner for the ernie ball uh strings Congra- send me an email oh yeah congratulations, congratulations. good job Way I think go. it's worth uh, before we do another jam here. We have we have some more giveaways, uh, another Ooh. giveaway. But uh, Nick, it's the first time in like a decade I've been yeah. home, and I haven't right, been right, subjected right. to five ish days of pure sonic hell. Yeah, how's that affected you on a personal level? Well, so yeah, the Nam noise is truly a it's it's an assault <laughs> on the senses and what a the body. It truly is. I I don't. I very rarely get like sick from sound. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. actually, and like I'm not being hyperbolic. I've actually. Gotten I believe you. Ill I believe that I've from, been sick from sound. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Sick from sound. So ooh, check out our new podcast, Sick from Sound, um, <laughs> every Thursday at five p.m. Uh, Come on, it's legit. Yeah. Like the most chaotic sound you've ever heard it turn it's like everything bleeds together to the point where you can't distinguish mm. one thing from another days on end it, it's so loud it yeah. makes your body feel ill that's concerning for me i i promise you i still want to go and i hope we get to yeah. go again but that's a little concerning for me cuz right. i get a little stressed out if there's too much going yeah. on yeah and i think like if you're going like as a casual like if you went on yeah. like public day or whatever which yeah. pretty much every day is public day at this point it's right. like you people just out hand out in. badges to everyone yeah which is like whatever it's just like you know we're trying to just hang in there for as many days as we can all the time. I like the sound of your symbol. It's just like it's a good sound. It's like, oh, yeah. Hey, what color? Where would you get that microphone? Oh yeah, I got it from the downstairs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's pretty rough. 
Mm. And then, you know, it's just, it's a full day. Um, yeah, it can be pretty gnarly. It can. Let's uh, let's do this uh, giveaway. Let's show some famous people at NAMM. Let's yeah, do that first. That's another okay. aspect of NAMM that's really interesting is, it is all of the celebrities that show up because some of them I'm like, this makes sense. Like, this is Dave uh, Grohl's playing yeah. a show. That's kind of cool. It's a shame because he's a drummer and trying to play guitar. Oh, God, man. Really like, pathetic. stay in your lane. <laughs> Stevie. Stevie Wonder is always at always. Name. I've seen always him hundreds name. of times, Who's and that? I've only been a few times. Uh, S- Stephen Wonder. He's a little Steve, known, uh, uh, struggling artist from the seventies. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's uh, Steve Morse, Steve Lukather, and John Petrucci. Yeah, that's, that's who that is on the left. I think I nailed that. Okay, I actually know who yeah. those people are. The, yeah, a Nam is very particular for like you're gonna get like the guitar hero gods mm. and Sinbad. <gasps> he was in that movie. That's pretty great. The uh, Mandela effect. Isn't there a movie? I don't know. He was in Jingle All the Way, which was one of my favorite mm-hmm. Christmas movies as a kid. Sling Blade. Hey, and there's Lister. Billy Bob Thornton. That's an important pick. Pot of meat. But does he a, play guitar? I think he does. Okay. Who's that guy? This <laughs> ran into this guy. It's the awkward, like, I'm taller than him, and there's yeah. like the full lean in hug. It's a very sweet picture. It is. Is that because you guys couldn't hear each other, so you were leaning in? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is Joe Perry. Joe Perry. I knew who I it was. He's like trying to assist me. Well, no, I whispered it. I don't know. Is he holding can... a Nam award? And if so, so, what did he win? Probably award Deepest for most V. I don't know. Probably most necklaces. <laughs> now this Lisa is always Loeb. a treat. We have become really good friends with Lisa Loeb. Yeah, and she shows up every year with her and, husband, who's a good yep. friend as well. And that's Robert Randolph. I'm a yeah. massive Robert Randolph fan. This stuff's fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is where you're like, God, this is right. fun for a moment. Right. And but then, then you're trying one. to have a conversation with each other. And yeah. Then Billy, exactly. Billy bass player over there is trying exactly. to like It's just things. total chaos. Like, oh, hey, Lisa Love. How's it going? Are you having a good time? Uh, I heard you made a kid's show on Amazon Prime. It's wild. A few more. A few more. Fred one more. Famous actor. Freaking Johnny... Jonathan Depp. This was Ooh, during Willy cool. Wonka shooting, I think. Was no, it? It wasn't. He's actually a really good. Now this player. this is when J.J. Abrams came in and the booth went sideways like a sci fi yeah. film. Oh yeah, I remember that. And I remember being like, What the crap is happening? Yeah. And I was like, Hey man, I love I love Lost. I love all your work. Right. I love Star these Star Wars. Wars. And the booth just kept yeah, it was just like turning crazy. Unbelievable. There's a lot of lens flare. I think our booth is still that way in yeah. storage. It's crazy. Steve Vai. Steve Vai. Yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of famous people show up. I think Taylor Swift came one time. Oh too. yeah, she's nice. there. She's there. Let's give away the last pedal. Yeah. And start wrapping this thing. I think we've learned a lot about ourselves and a Definitely. lot about Nam. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's give this away. I'll do a brief little uh, show. Some JHS boots. That's going to be exciting. Fun. Okay. All right. Last pedal. We have an angry Charlie. Mm. It is also in a box. It's so, Bernie's favorite. Is it pedal. really? Yeah, it's oh. his favorite pedal. I wish I'd have known that before yeah. we started this. Um, your question, should you answer it correctly to win an angry Charlie, is what year was MIDI introduced at NAM? I already said it. There's your hint. What? Do what you have year? the box for this? Um, yes, I do have the box oh, for this. Okay. Here's the box. All right. Let's do a jam. Let's go to the mono pedal board cam. Uh, PG-14, I'm going to do this thing that not enough people do, and it's honestly, it hurts my feelings. It's this amazing fuzz face sound. It's really great. So let's do that, and then I'll probably turn on a Tidewater. So let's do something that's like... Like dinosaur pirates? Dinosaur pirate music. Yeah. Let's do it. I could tell you were going to say that.
Who's the winner? Snap out of it! Who's the winner? All right. The winner of the giveaway is uh, Richard Garnish. Congratulations, Richard. Richard. Good job. Uh, Joshua, let me know. The chat started auto-hiding on accident, um, but we did see who the first person was. So We would never do that. It wasn't our fault, but we did no. pick uh, Richard Garnish. You're now able to garnish your pedal board with an angry Whoa. Charlie. Ho, ho, ho. Good that job. That was good. That was good. Shameless joke. <laughs> Nick, let's do record time. Let's do record time. Today's record time is brought to you by Brandon Flowers, The Desired Effect. Yes. This album was a NAM lifesaver for us. We played this in the car nonstop um, in between driving to NAM and from NAM when we needed just a break and to listen to something that was uh, sonically like pleasant. Pleasing. Um, I know Addison's a huge Brandon Flowers and Big the Killers fan. fan. I, yep. I really wasn't super into the Killers that much until I listened to Brandon Flowers' album. You know, Mr. Brightside came on the radio and stuff. And, like, I'm not going to turn the radio off when that song comes on. But, like, I really fell in love with his stuff um, from this album. I remember hearing an interview with him where he was saying, like, booking shows people would be like well who are you <laughs> uh because he like literally had to like reinvent his whole career yeah. wow um, but yeah dreams come true are mm. free is a freaking amazing song between me and you is probably come like on. one of the most beautiful songs bruce hornsby played piano i know on it. i remember like we listened to that song and it was like this yeah. sounds like the way it is what's the first whatever. track on the b-side my favorite uh, song of his. it is lonely town yeah i can never remember that names. song is so good <sighs> yeah I think Brandon Flowers like embodies the American swag of like Bruce Swingsteen. Bruce Swingsteen? Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bruce Swingsteen. And that font. Focus in this everyone. Font. Let's Ooh, let's get it. That's that is focus. a font to die for. Yeah, it's such a great font. Wow. It is. Let's yeah. wrap here and I just want to say I'm really thankful for Nam. I think Nam has done a lot for our company. I it think has. that the times and situations are going to be a challenge. I hope they reinvent themselves. I look forward to seeing what comes up like just in this different era. COVID has changed the world. And Nam was already in a place of change. And I think it's a good thing. I think this could have like kind of shocked something new into place a little quicker. Yeah. And it's it's exciting to think back of uh, all the cool stuff we got to do. Um, here's a few of our booths, really fun. To, well, here's a few general images we've enjoyed, including some of us. This is the best meme ever for Nam. Someone made this that worked here. I don't know who. Yes. It's a new terrifying escape room that Was just it locks you, you in. I, it, no, no. This, I mean, where else Dude. am I going to stand with a giant metal zone and Yoshi? Yeah. It's not going to happen yeah. anywhere else. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It only happens at Nam. Who are those cool kids? Yeah, those I tell you what, is. that those are two those are two uh, sharp cats right there. Is that the telly that got blood all over it? It probably. Why is. do all your guitars end up with blood all over know. them? Hey, just, I think you're fragile. Just, in yeah. case you don't know who Joshua is, that's who that was on the right. Yeah, this is me on the bottom. Um, this is how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is fake grass as well. My favorite yeah. part of Orange County is the fake lawns. Right. There's our Lego booth. I I I'm proud of that one. Yeah, the Lego booth was really great. But the color red was a little much for white balance. Yeah, I Ooh. was trying to white balance the footage, and it was real tough. There's me. <laughs> I think I'm knocking back a Corona and editing a video. What by a day pool. is this? Nick? This is probably that the day before now. That might have been the day we oh, got no. here. So yeah. Nick and I would come in early, do some work, film, and lay yeah. around, and then prepare for that, the war. That is the part of Nam that I like the most. This <laughs> sums up. Can, what an edit. Addison, what do you see? I see uh, a lot of purple. A broken man is what you're supposed to say. Oh, okay. I see a broken man laying on the floor. This is me with Chipson. Chipson's wow. a person. He's a genius. Oh, nice. Chipson on Instagram. That's so awesome. Uh, revert. This stuff. I mean, to get Look to be on a panel with Jamie of Earthquaker, Jim's in the middle, Wampler, Keeley. This stuff was fun. Yeah, it's but awesome. But then you go right back to your booth of hell. Yeah, and then, yeah. Which that one was not because it was cool. This is setup day. Oh, ooh, In <laughs> I'm hungry. Right There's now. a story behind this. There, but. there is. I don't like In and Out. I'm gonna say that. And uh, but sometimes you're forced to eat there because the 405 is a witch. This, 
Remember when I said Nam is basically Comic Con? Yep. There's also an element where it is just actually Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. I probably wouldn't enjoy that part of it. The pedal show and reverb. Shout Andy. out. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's wrap it up. Final thoughts on Nam for me. I shared them, but I do want to share this. In 2002, I managed a guitar store that was in Winfield, Alabama. You don't know where it's at. Don't even worry. It's not even on a map. Uh, and I went to Nam as a manager, and my name was Heath. So Joshua Heath Scott, JHS. I was Heath from fifth grade till 2003. I just chose to go by my middle name because there were too many Joshes, and one of those in my class was a Bobo. So I just changed, and I was like, I want to go by Heath. Um, so Jim Marshall, I got to meet him. And I didn't care as much as I care now. I wish I had cared more. But I did get to meet him before he died. So that was like super, super cool. And uh, I'm thankful for Nam. Final comment on Nam, Addison. Final comment. Final comment on Nam? My final comment. Um, for those of you that are like me and you have a dream of going to Nam someday, I still really want to go. Even knowing all this stuff. We've had a lot of Nam talk the last few days. Yeah, and, um, yeah I'm still excited Keep the to dream go. alive. I will. And I, I do think Nam is going to change, like you said. I wonder, I have a suspicion that there's going to be more like YouTube involvement or live sort of elements um, yeah. because of this last year. I, I kind of feel like that's going to become more of a thing. So that's okay. my prediction. I still want to go. Nick, what do you think? Close it out here. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a lot of fond memories of Nam. I, I There's a part of me that loves it. There's also part of me that dies inside every year. <laughs> I think that something that Nam could do to like improve would just be maybe creating an environment that was easier to – have conversations with people. I don't know what that would look like. Maybe streamlining some of these things. I know different aspects of Nam are different for others. Like pro audio is very different than like the guitar world. So certain aspects of Nam, I think maybe work better for other people, but have a big soft spot in my heart. And I'm glad that we didn't have to go or we didn't go this year. Yeah. So hit like, if you like this episode, subscribe. We'll be back next Wednesday with a live and a special guest and then normal episode next Friday. So subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications, and uh, yeah, check out all the new NAM releases. There's some cool stuff. We got to help there with is. one, the Way Huge mm -hmm. pedal. Go check that episode out. We're going to lead you out with a little bit of a NAM jam. <laughs> This really cool 